Hello, who wants to cook? It's Lady Pam here and you're so welcome. So for today's recipe, we're making our all-time favorite meat pie with a twist though, known as Jamaican patties. Trust me, this recipe is bomb. So these are the ingredients, now let's get into the making. Now we have two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to add three teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of curry powder, half teaspoon of nutmeg, some salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. So we're just going to mix the mixture together. And now we're going to add 350 grams of butter. So I use salted butter, but you can use unsalted butter. So we're going to mix it till we have a bread-like consistency. Just like this. So we're going to add half cube of maggi and then we're going to create a hole and then add one egg so now we're going to stir the mixture together now we're going to form the dough so be before that we're just going to use the milk but you can use cold water but i use cold milk it gives it a better taste that's in my opinion so you don't want to use too much or too little so you have to do it step by step you don't want to have a too soft dough or too thick dough just want it to be just perfect enough so we need the dough for about one minute and the dough is just perfect so now we're going to transfer our dough onto a clean film just going to wrap it all around and refrigerate it for one hour. So let's get to the making of the filling. So first you're going to stir fry diced onions and some garlic. And then add a 300 grams of meat. I used pork to be precise. So we're going to stir fry it for a while. And then add our spices. So first, I added half cube of maggi, sprinkle some rosemary, sprinkle some oregano, sprinkle some thyme. You're going to add two teaspoons of beef seasoning, some salt, one teaspoon of curry powder, and a blended spice mix. It contains garlic, onion, ginger, and aniseed. So we're just going to mix the spices with the meat nicely and let it fry for a while. Now we're going to add our veggies, which is the onions, garlic, um, diced carrots, and our green bell pepper. So we're just going to mix everything nicely and then add a cornstarch so i just took two teaspoons of cornstarch and added some water and then pour it in we're also going to add milk so the cornstarch and the milk is going to make the meat pie feeling so juicy trust me it does wonders so let it simmer for a while voila look at all these juicy juicy things juicy juicy feeling so for the egg wash, you're going to use one egg and some milk. Whisk it nicely and then set it aside. So we are ready to make our meat pie or Jamaican patty. So divide it into sections and then roll it out. But I'll advise that you don't roll it out too thin or too thick. Just perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> So you take a round bow and then make the holes, make the meat pie circles. And then take the filling. So I used about one and a half teaspoons of meat pie filling. You use the egg wash around the edges and then you're going to indent the fork at the edges to create those beautiful fine lines. It makes it so attractive. So we're going to repeat the process over and over and over again. 
so please make sure you try this recipe out i would really be happy if you try it out and send me some pictures or put it down in the comments down below it would be nice very nice so while you're doing this you're going to preheat the oven Now we're going to glaze the meat pie or Jamaican patties with the egg wash and let it sit for about two minutes before we transfer it into the oven. Now we're baking the meat pies for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Look at all this goodness. So I gave it to my friends and they loved it and I had to do some the next day. So just look at this. Damn. Now let's go to food for our soul. Scripture says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 that but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. The word makes emphasis on but. It means that we really need to seek God first in everything, every aspect of our life. We have to seek him first. The Lord wants us to seek him. He wants us to get to know him. There is this song that says that and we will never settle for less. Why? Because we know that there is more that's found in him everything is found in our god he has the solutions to your problems so i just want to encourage you to that today that you should always seek god in every aspect of our lives and he will add everything else to us amen